here we are at Nep with a um, fallow deer that's been dead for a couple of weeks. When an animal dies, oxygen is no longer pumped around the system and carbon dioxide is no longer removed. So it becomes acidic with the carbon dioxide. Lyosomes are um, structures that contain uh, digestive enzymes. As it becomes acidic, these structures uh, are broken, the membranes uh, break, releasing the digestive enzymes, which then start digesting the tissue, a process called autolysis. And this then starts releasing putrid smelling chemicals, such as putrescine. There are masses of bacteria in a body, and they're normally constrained by the immune system. But when the animal dies, these then start feeding on the cells and the processes of autolysis, such as proteins and carbohydrates, and converting these into gases, such as methane and ammonia. So it becomes bloated. This is the process of putrefaction. And the bloated corpse may then blow open, uh, exposing it to others. So soon after death, carcasses start to become a nutrient-rich, putrid soup, delicious to some. Uh, not me personally. I'm getting wafts of it. But this putrid soup is really good at attracting insects. And we know that some of these flies, for example, they can smell corpses from several kilometres away. So they'll be the first to arrive at this corpse party and there will be a succession of different animals going from different parts of the decomposing body um, as we go along. So the flies are always first but then we can see in this one because this corpse is quite a few weeks old we have different things and there's quite a few of the beetle larvae crawling around. Your beetles Charlie? Yes. Mm. I, I guess we've got to think about the um, other animals that might be eating it, the ravens and the foxes mm -hmm. and uh, maybe even robins uh, uh, also come to these carcasses. Mm. We feed on the fat. Yeah, mm. yeah, I mean, it's a great source. And the thing is, it's not just the adults that we've got to think about here. They're the ones who are getting here, but it's a larval resource. And that's what's really important. These ephemeral, these short-lived, really nutrient-rich resources are so important for so many different groups of animals. So a missing, I guess we just need to say it's a missing thing from our landscape. We're no longer allowed to do this. We're not allowed, to, this is a wild animal, so it's allowed to be left where it is, but we can't have our stock, fallen stock and so on, we have to pick it up and have it incinerated. So we're losing this whole guild of animals that then can survive on this sort of thing. Absolutely, and these, these, these dead things are so important for so many living things. From death comes life.